my name is Tiffany and I'm from Glitter Pie and I'm here with Andrea. Hello Tiffany. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here from Grab a Scab. She is the designer and the creator of these absolutely phenomenal fabric adhesive patches. And the cool thing about these patches is that you actually don't need to sew them or iron them. All you do is peel it back off and stick it on fabric and you're done. So, Andrea. I was going to say, once you stick them on, they'll go through the washer, they'll go through the dryer, they'll really? go through the dishwasher. And they're not going to get all weird and they're nope, not going to... Nope, they've been washed on my children's clothing up to about 70 times and they're still there. So once they're on, they stay on. So it's a permanent fix. Can you believe this? So she's going to show us right now with this pair of jeans and there's a hole in them, what you can do really quickly to fix the hole. So, so just, let's... Yeah. Sure, for the practical purpose, if you were children, I invented these scabs because my children just wear through their clothes all the time. I have two boys and they constantly have holes in their knees. So this is a small hole, I like to get it before they get too big. Basically, you just take the scab of your choice. There's several patterns, you can be as wild and crazy as you want. 30 or... patterns, she's got 30 to choose from, so you absolutely can't lose. So peel it off, you stick it on so the children can do it themselves. Once it's on, you wait 24 hours before you wash it and you throw it in the dryer for about 10 minutes. That makes the adhesive cure and that's what we'll keep it on through the washer and dryer. And then you're done, your jeans are fixed. And hopefully also your children, my kids love them. Whenever I put a, a, a scab on, it becomes their favorite pair because they're more interesting than their yeah. jeans. And you pick really cool designs, so it's not like they're yeah. just these plain old bland things. They're really cool. She's got Zen symbols and her absolute cool little grab a scab symbol here. So the other side of grab a scab too is identification. Yeah, I wanted a way, um, you mentioned designs, I wanted a way that children could identify their things without their names on everything. Because I think it's, it's appropriate to have your name on some things, but when you're out in the park in public places, you don't always want you're right. to be identified. Totally. So for my children's water bottles at hockey practices and parks, you can just put as many scabs on as you want, but it makes all their belongings as unique and individual as they want them can to I be. Can I put this on there? Certainly. Okay. Um, my children have them on their hockey bags, soccer bags. What I love the most about this is since I started making them, customers have sent me photos of what oh. people use them for. So a family that was into bowling put them on their children's bowling bags. The kids that have them on backpacks. So all the best ideas have really come from other families and children that use them. Yeah, but they're ones. so easy to use, and that's I think part of the, the beauty of the product. So I love them. One of the things when I was introduced to your product is I thought, well, I don't really have holes in things so much as I just love the way that they look and how easy they are to use. So I was using Grava Scabs as sort of a fashion item, if you will. <laughs> And I was really inspired by the certain designs that you have. So I love what you've done. You've taken like my practical solution to a mom problem and turned it into what kids would love to wear. Like that's well, amazing. These these are like wicked scabs, and you just she had this really cool floral pattern, and I just riffed on the design with just everyday fabric paint and some sequins. And then I thought, oh my gosh, imagine just a whole <laughs> pair of jeans done in scabs. This one's really cute too. I love the way you've cut the shapes out because you can take any scab that's here and you can cut out the parts that you like and they won't tear or fray. So you, I love the way you've done that and pop the little monsters out of the pockets. It's so cute. Your kids can do this. This is a phenomenal rainy day activity or it's an any day activity really because just as long as they have a pair that you don't mind getting scabbed and lots of scabs to do, it's so fun and creative and you can cut them. And you can color them, so you can color them. Yeah, so anything, any Sharpie marker, whatever color you want, your right. children can draw their own names. If you do want a name pick for something right. specifically, you can do that as well, but you can basically draw anything you want. Just a Sharpie and a scab, and I think she's also got some scabs available that are blank, so this is giving your kids a little creative freedom to potentially make their own designs, which is amazing. <laughs> And I love, 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 love this idea with the boot. Well, this was another idea that came from a customer. She sent me a picture of her little four-year-old's boots. Yep. And basically, in order for the child to tell which boot went on what foot of school, yep. she put two little scabs on the inside, so just like that. What a great idea. And then when the two boots were together, the child just got the monsters to kiss, and then that's how they knew that the boots were on the right foot. What a great idea. And so cute. Yeah. And it looks and great easy. too. Look at how that matches. Yeah, it makes the boots more exciting. And also children can find their own things. Which is so the boots. Better than your name. <laughs> Better than your name. Better be a monster. <laughs> so the other piece that we're gonna talk about is adding something to the scabs. So that's what I did when I saw these, was I immediately thought of them as sort of a fashion item because you can just take a scab, put it on something, and then adorn it mm -hmm. with fabric paints. You can use these squeezy fabric paints or you can use silkscreen fabric paints and things like sequins because 
Sequins can go through the dryer and they can go through the washing machine. They may lose a little bit of color, but they're fabulous and they add that sparkle. So I stuck a skull onto this piece of jean at the very bottom. I'm gonna drop a little bit of black fabric paint and then I'm just literally going to do like some funky design at the bottom. And it takes the scab to a whole new design level. And guys can do this. Don't think that just because it's clothing and it's fabric that the little boys won't want to do it. I think your sons would love this. I like this one that you're doing because it makes boys' clothing interesting. There's not a lot out there. Most boys just have plain jeans. And I find when my kids use scabs, it makes it their favorite pair of pants. Right. One thing that I absolutely love about this the most is you can re-love your clothes. You don't need to go out and buy new stuff. You can put these awesome scabs that you've made on something old, add a little bit of sequins and fabric paint, and you've made something completely new again. So, Andrea, thank you so much for making these scabs. Thank you. They're so great. So go on grabascab.com and buy your scabs, and they're gonna be in stores all over the place. So find your scabs, and in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you for joining us, and thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you.